Hi, everybody. Welcome to Snap Labs TV, where we here at Snap Logic like to invite you back to the Snap Labs to show you what we're working on. Today, I'm joined by Pernil from our partner marketing team, where he's going to be showing us a Gen AI app builder application that he's built for our customer community. Let's get started. So today we have a special story about how Snap Logic is using Snap Logic at Snap Logic. And to help tell that story, I'm joined here with Pernil. Pernil, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Hi, my name is Pernil Narayan. I'm a senior director of partner marketing here at Snap Logic. Looking forward to having this conversation with you today, Tim. The main question I want to ask is, uh, how are you thinking about Gen AI in your role? In my role, I'm in this uh, fortunate place where I um, take care of the partner community and then also our user community, our developer community. So we partner with the likes of uh, AWS and Snowflake and these are leading edge type vendors that are coming up with AI solutions. So we were exposed to AWS you know, services like Bedrock that multiple LLMs can sit on like Claude, also vector databases like OpenSearch, Pinecone, uh, Snowflake just released their capabilities. And Snowflake also has a front end user interface called Streamlit that they use. So having exposure to all this and seeing what kind of use cases they were trying to solve was something that kind of opened my eyes into solving a problem that one of my employees in the community came up and was basically telling me, I get so many questions on the community, it's hard to kind of make sure that they're all answered in a timely manner. We want to make sure that we have the optimal type of customer experience. What we decided to do was build an app on Gen AI App Builder that would help solve this type of issue where we would have questions answered in a very timely manner. Got it. So it's like a chat interface that's built into the community, that's trained on the community information so that people can service themselves, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So we've taken um, resolved answers from the community along with our knowledge base and our support system and our portal, and then combined it with our documentation. So we've put that information into a vector database and we're using Amazon's Claude um, as the LLM to train that. What was the process like? It sounds super complicated about how do you go from like the idea, I want to have this super cool chat interface on my, my community, but how do you go through the idea all the way to the MVP or the, the prototype way of it working? Ideation for us actually came from our community manager, Diane Miller. She got an alert on her phone that said there was liquid detected. Uh, she went to the Apple community, typed in, what do I do when there's liquid on my phone? She got 17,000 results. That to her was mind blowing and got her thinking, oh my, what if my community is also experiencing these type of problems? And so that was the quick ideation of, I have a question about your product. I would like an an it, the answer in the easiest format possible. Now, it sounds pretty simple, but you know, in these type of processes, we all know We've all used something like a chat GPT in the, and, and we know when we type something in, 80% of it's going to be factual and 20% of it's going to be made up. So how do we know what that 20% is? And with a rag type process, which we've used, which is built into our Gen AI app builder architecture, that type of hallucination kind of gets thrown out the window because we give you the data source of where the answer came from. Yep. So they're able to go in and double click and actually get more granular if they need to or follow up with a different question. How did you build the automation from scratch? Did you, so you worked with a uh, solutions architect here at SnapLogic. Right. And what was that process like? Yeah, let's talk you through that process. So you know, we have a, a culture of innovation here at, at SnapLogic. Everyone is always willing to help especially with new cutting edge projects like Gen AI App Builder, right? But what we actually did was we took three data sources. We took approved answers from the community. We took um, our knowledge base from our support portal, which has, you know, over 12 years of questions and answers on our product. And then we also took our documentation. We put that into a vector database and we trained that data using Claude and, you know, on Bedrock. And we're using Streamlit as the front end. So the way it would work is we ingest that data first. Then based on the prompt or the questions, we would take the prompt, put it into the vector, grab the data, train it into the LLM, massage it, get it in the right format, and spit it back out to the prompt interface. So that is the way we designed it. And that is typically the way our Gen AI app builder architecture works. How does this tool in your in your eyes, helps save time or this efficiency or this automation helps save time for the SnapLogic team internally? A couple of ways. So one is 
you know, there's a, there's a user experience, number one, right? So it's not just saving us time, but it's also saving our customers and our partners time in their development process and them getting their integrations out. If these were consulting hours or so on and so forth, there'd be shorter time to market there as well. So time savings and all these type of things that go into it. The second way it would help us is that my community manager now is not doing menial tasks like answering questions, but she's figuring out ways to engage the community more, to have developer contests, right? To uh, figure out what new type of innovations are coming out that we can kind of hone in on and talk about and highlight members of our community. Um, those are more uh, valuable tasks than just figuring out the answer to specific questions. Well, that's all the time we have today for Snap Labs TV. Thank you to our special guest and thank you to all of you for joining us here today. For more information, head over to snaplogic.com and I'll see you next time.